Hi everyone, my name is Chad Weiner and I want to provide you with a brief overview of our territory management solution for Dynamics 365. This solution contains a powerful tool set to help manage complex and numerous territories. It enables the auto assignment of key records within Dynamics 365. It's enabled for the accounts, contacts, and leads, and it allows for nested rules by geography and a special categorization option set that we have that is shared amongst account, lead, and contact records. So an example rule could be uh, the salesperson Julie owns all of the accounts in the state of Alabama, except those categorized as key accounts those go to David. Then kind of going down, anything in the city of Montgomery within Alabama goes to Owen, and then even a sliver of Montgomery can be divided by zip code, say, to Scott. So it allows for these powerful, complex next nesting rules uh, where you can derive and distribute these lead accounts or contact records throughout your system. We include a custom workflow activity that you can leverage within your own workflows. So for example, when this happens or this happens and you have a workflow that gets triggered, you have the potential to call our routing service and assign that account contact or lead to the appropriate person based upon the lead uh, rules or account rules that you've defined. An assignment of these records can be done by ownership, user and team, or access teams, as well as both. This solution is a managed solution that comes installed into your Dynamics 365 with an easy to use interface. Uh, it drops into any new or existing Dynamics 365 system without causing conflict. So we're not modifying any account or opportunity or any out of the box system views or forms. Everything is self-contained within our solution. And this uh, solution can be installed and configured by a system administrator or any power user using our solution guides. Uh, who can leverage this functionality and data? Sales and marketing can leverage this to help automate the distribution of records throughout their organization. Uh, and again, they can do this based upon geography and key categorization of attributes. This solution is designed to save you time uh, and improve the accuracy and speed for which uh, you can assign territories. Uh, if you're manually reassigning thousands of accounts whenever someone changes roles or leaves or is hired or you're manually assigning leads as they come in, this solution will make your life a lot easier. The three demonstrations or use cases we're going to go over in this video um, is the first the, is a new salesperson onboarding and creating a new territory and realigning all of our leads to that newly onboarded salesperson. The second is that we're going to create a workflow that calls our lead account job to assign a purchase lead list that we're importing, say, on a weekly or a monthly basis to the correct owner based upon the territory configuration. And then the third is when a salesperson leaves the company and is being replaced, we'll have to set up that new salesperson, add them to the access team so that they can receive access to the accounts um, that were owned by the old salesperson, um, verifying that we're not impacting any other users' access or existing records. The two demo personas that I'll take on during this video is the first, a system administrator or the power user. Uh, their job would be to create the assignment jobs and rules that help derive and divide the accounts, leads, and contacts into their respective territories. They can also run these jobs uh, uh, for onboarding and offboarding process manually, as well as one-off situations, say during acquisition or something like that, when territories need to be realigned quickly. The other persona is the sales and marketing manager. They have similar functionality, as well as we'll show you how they can leverage some of the reporting and dashboards. Uh, and, and again, if they're needing to route leads per se to the right people, they can set up these assignment jobs and rules to make sure the right CRM users get the right data. Let's go ahead and dive into Dynamics 365 and take a look at the three use cases described. Here we are on the Territory Account Management Dashboard, and we can see some high-level statistics around the distribution amongst our territories and our salespeople. On this first pie chart here, we can see a distribution of our accounts by territory 
For example, we've got 535 accounts in our US East Territory, and we've got 43 in our Canada Territory. Moving over to the right, we can see our distribution of accounts by state within the United States. So uh, here we can see California has got 114. We can kind of see the distribution amongst the, the different states. This other chart shows us the distribution amongst our salespeople or CRM users. So we can see that Carlos owns the fewest, while Spencer Lowe owns 450 accounts being the most. We then have some uh, diagnostic information in, in these bottom two charts around the number of uh, accounts affected by some of our territory rules, as well as we can see that we have two active assignment jobs running right now on accounts and leads, and we can kind of see some information around how many have been affected and are within each assignment. Drilling into the account assignment uh, assignment job, we can see the information that makes up a job. For example, we've got a job name and we have a grouping of rules that make up the logic that go within this job. So for example, we've got some rules broken out by each state, potentially by some named accounts. And in this example, the state of Alabama could be run one rule, where then the city of Montgomery could be another rule. And then you could, for example, say 3M could be another named account rule. Um, so 3M would be uh, assigned based upon its named account, and then all other accounts would kind of respect these rules. And kind of towards the bottom, we can see the number of records that have been affected. So this account assignment job containing all these rules has affected 1,400 records, assigning them to the proper person. Let's go ahead and dive into our first use case. The first scenario revolves around onboarding a new employee, neither creating a new territory or breaking up an existing one. In this example, we're going to separate an existing West Coast territory. To do so, I'm going to navigate to our assignment jobs, which is the grouping of rules that make up how the assignment should run. I've got two account and lead. We're going to click on the lead assignment. And here we can notice that we have a West assignment rule that breaks up leads by zip code between these ranges. So what I want to do is I want to create an additional rule that goes from 45,000 to say 80,000 and then 80,000 to 99,000. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click into this West one and I'm going to update its name. So we know which rule it is. The record owner is Diane. So this rule will assign all leads to Diane. And we can see the starting and ending zip is 45,000 and 99,000. I'm going to update this to 79,000. Saving the record, I'll now go back to my lead assignment here. And we're going to click the plus sign to Al to add a fourth West territory for Alan. So here we go, I can give my rule a name, specify the record owner, so who are the leads going to be assigned to, Alan in this case. For my case, we're going to specify that they are in the same territory for uh, reporting purposes, and we can give a criteria of postal code in the United States, and then we can specify our starting and ending zip codes here. So now anything that is within 80,000 to 99,000, which is the upper part of the West Coast, will get assigned to Allen. We can go ahead and hit save. As we go back to our lead assignment, we now see the rules that make up this criteria. And if we go back to our leads, we can realign our open leads by looking at our West Open Leads, we can see that Diane owns the, all the accounts currently. By selecting and running the workflow to realign the leads, we can see that um, a few of them will now be reassigned to Alan. And that you can see right here. And the next time leads are created, imported, or potentially modified, these rules will be reinforced. For our second example, we're going to be importing a, a list of leads that we get from a trade show. Maybe we purchase these lists. And what we've done is uh, this, these lists are around charity events that we do. So we've created a separate assignment job um, that will essentially break all of these leads out into the East Coast and the West Coast. So David and Sven, they work these charity leads. We've broken them out by zip code um, based upon East and West. 
and we want to, as we import these leads on a weekly, monthly basis, we want these jobs to run and assign them to David and Sven appropriately. So what we've done is we've created the assignment job, we've created two assignment rules that break out um, the United States into two sections, and we've assigned David and Sven those records. The second thing we wanna do is create a workflow that essentially will run on lead when the records are created, so when they're imported, maybe when they're created manually. And what we have is um, we're checking to make the lead source, um, the source campaign is our charity event. Um, every time we import our records, we tag them as charity events. And when we include in our solution, we have a couple of uh, workflow extensions for you to use that essentially allow you to call a specific realignment job. So whenever this workflow runs, it's going to run this charity leads assignment job that we have defined here in the background. Here we have our Excel sheet, which is a list of leads. Notice that we have zip code. So based upon this zip code here, it's going to route those records to either Sven or David, as well as it's gonna verify that the source campaign is charity event. Let's go ahead and import that into Dynamics 365. So after importing our Excel spreadsheet through the Dynamics 365 data import wizard, we can see here that we've got all of our leads that were imported. The source campaign is charity event. And as you'll see, the owner column is either David or Sven. And if you'll notice on the import sheet that we imported into Dynamics, we did not specify an owner. The workflow that we created earlier uh, handled the routing of these leads to David or Sven based upon the zip code and the assignment rules and jobs that we created. For our third example, we'll be showing you how to offboard an employee and give that new salesperson or new employee replacing that old employee similar or same access to those records. In this example, we're leveraging access teams to grant and remove permissions throughout the system. As you can see on the right, Alan and Karen are set up on this specific account and they have access to this account. In our scenario, Alan is leaving the company and we need to onboard our new representative, Allie showing you real quick how the assignment rule is generated, we can see that on the access team members, we have up to four members that can be listed here. Alan and Karen are both listed as one. If Alan is leaving and we need to replace him with a new person, we can simply replace his name with a newly created CRM user, in this case, Allie, save the record, and then we can go back to our list of views, check our records that we would like to realign, and simply run the territory management account assignment workflow. This is going to run, compare all of the accounts to the newly created rules and members that have just been updated. And in a second, we'll be able to see that Alan has been removed uh, from the records that he should have access to, and in replacement, Allie should be And now, if we go into a datum, we'll now see the access team has been updated to reflect Ali and Karen. To summarize our territory management solution, it's been enabled for accounts, contacts, and leads. It allows you to define territories by either geography or categorization, geography being postal code, city, state, country, and you have the ability to nest these as well. So you can have someone own the state, someone else own a city within that state, and someone else even own a zip code. These records can be assigned in bulk when they're created or leverage one of our workflow steps included in your own workflows. And again, assignment can be done by ownership, access team, or both. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions about this solution, please reach out to your account director. Thank you.